Hello investors and traders, welcome to the series of video blogs of Elliott Wave Forecast. Here's Helge and today is 31st of May. I would like to talk to Gay today about Marathon Digital Holdings. This company is dealing in digital asset technology sector. In particular, it engages in mining of cryptocurrencies with a focus on the blockchain ecosystem and the generation of digital assets. Marathon Digital Holdings, formerly known as Marathon Patent Group, was founded 2010 and is now headquartered in Las Vegas, Nevada, US. One can trade it under the ticker MARA at NASDAQ and when we look on this ticker at stock tweets, it is very attractive, 122,000 followers right now and therefore I have picked it because it should be interesting for the broad publicity. So now in fundamental point of view, it is linked to the cryptocurrencies since cryptocurrencies are turning for another bullish cycle higher this should create also rally in prices of companies which are mining these cryptocurrencies and also this can have even magnifying effect because if indices are rallying and cryptocurrencies are rallying then while bitcoin can make a double or 4x Mara can make, for example, double of it, 4x or even 8x. It is not proven, but investing in cryptos can be also interesting to invest in the companies which are underlying, which create the cryptocurrencies, mining companies. Therefore, one can be looking to buy Marathon Digital Holdings to diversify one's portfolio and looking for more upside. I will show now the wave structure, how to buy it and what are the... Uh, upside targets in the marathon using a signal this software we're using to create our charts and first of all in monthly from the IPO from back to 2010 we have got here peak this was actually the all-time high and from this highs we saw long-term decline in eight years the marathon has lost more than 99 percent of its peak value here 234 has been reached and back in march 2020 we got the low at 0.35 dollar only that low level this was really destruction for the company value but now it looks like it is recovering and while above 0.35 it is in a new bullish cycle as a way free towards the highs of 234 and even beyond long term. Now we are interested in the medium term after doing 1 and 2 in red. Next bullish cycle might have started and using 1 and 2 it can reach now 100% 1.618 and even higher. Now here while above the lows from the January, December, December 2022 where we call wave 2 in place. We can now switch to the weekly charts. Wave 2 has developed as a free free fight structure after ending five waves of an impulse this impulse shows extended wave three then triangle in wave four wave five of one and then a low which has clearly broken the channel and then a new high comes with diversions in seven swings this is very typical for a flat where we see three three and now five waves one two three four five ending when we use from the highs a trend line this trend line has broken therefore five waves of the highs which comes with the virgins also this trend line using one two three four five this channel is already broken within this sideways to high move therefore the preferred view is the low in place on the December 2022 and while above there expecting next bullish cycle in a way free next bullish cycle should bring us towards 59 88 95 14 and even higher then expecting wave 4 pullback wave 5 to end wave 1 and next large opportunity would become again to buy wave 2 but why if you invested to wait when it will make 100 and then pull back towards 50 while it is trading at 10. Now we expect for more upset towards $60 and beyond. Therefore now buying below $10, you risk $10 for each share and you're expecting 60. So therefore reward to risk is right now for medium term traders is 6 to 1 and for long term traders is even 23 to 1 because $10 risk for one share and long-term opportunity towards 234 because if this is a new bullish cycle this should have will break wave 
one and make new all-time highs but this is long-term perspective in medium or short to medium term we expect 60 towards 95 which is the next extension higher within wave three so therefore here while traders which are trading in the one hour four hour charts it might be difficult to catch it but if you are buying hold type of trader investor then you should be looking to buy it now with a stop again zero and looking towards 60 dollar and beyond betting on the rally in the yen uh, in the cryptocurrencies and the underlying assets like companies which produce these cryptocurrencies mining company companies now what else can we see on the home page we have here the charts in monthly and weekly you can check it under the video blog section you can read the whole text again to see how we deal with wave structures how we see the targets and also you should not miss our opportunity start our 14 day trial it is ten dollars for the 14 days for new members and also on friday this friday we have a metals what is the next move free webinar don't miss an opportunity to subscribe there are limited number of places but the webinar is free so this is next webinar about metals and actually metals going higher should go together with cryptos and also marathon goes higher because this is a company which is linked to the cryptocurrencies and technically trades against dollar which are also metals here in our free webinar we will talk about next move in the metals what to extend medium term that's all what we got today in this video blog thank you all for watching take care bye and i will see you all next in next months when my turn will come again to make a video blog thank you all have a nice day.